Hello everyone, welcome to the series on best of IPM. This particular question is from IPM 2019 QAMCQ section. I want each one of you to pause this video, solve question on your own and then come back for the solution. Hello everyone, if you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free. To avail this, please click on the link mentioned under the description box below. Happy learning! So, what is given to us that there is a circular path of radius 6 and there is a boy who starts from point A, goes to B, travel a distance of 3 and then from B goes to C okay uh, it goes to c and travel a distance of 2 you need to find out what is this length ac one way is to solve this question by using trigonometry the another and the smart approach to solve this particular question is eliminate the option and that's how you should have actually solved in the exam to save your time so what i can see here is that ac should definitely be less than 3 plus 2, some of the other two sides of a triangle, correct? So, that's eliminate answer option 4 and answer option 2. Now, what I can see here is that this is 3, this is 2. I can get root 13 only and only if A, B, C is a right angle triangle, this is 3, this is 2, this is right angle, only then I can have root 13 as hypotenuse, right? But if B at B, the angle is 90 degree, in that case AC becomes a diameter, but diameter in our case should be equal to double the radius, that's 12. So it cannot be root 13, that contradict and hence that's not the answer. The answer option is first option, right? So this is how we could have actually solved this particular question without wasting much of time. Now let's see how can we actually solve this question using trigonometry. So let us assume that this angle is theta, here we have a center, the radius is 6, this is 6 and this is also radius which is equal to 6. Let's say this is x and this is y, okay? Now, if I apply cosine rule in triangle COB, if I apply cosine rule in triangle COB, let's say this is O, okay? So, what do I get here? Cos of x is equal to, so, OB and OC both are radius, that's equal to 6. So, I have 6 square plus 6 square minus 2 square upon 2 into 6 into 6 is what I get. And that is equal to basically uh, 72, 68, 1, 2. So, that is equal to 17 upon 18 is what I have, right? Now, in the same triangle, if I want to find sin x, like so I can calculate sin x as under root of 1 minus cos x the whole square, that is 1 minus 17 upon 18 the whole square and we get this as root 35 by 18. Similarly, if I apply cosine rule in triangle, let's say a o b so now i'll i'll get what is cos y cos y will be 6 square plus 6 square minus 3 square upon 2 into 6 into 6 so basically i will have 72 minus 9 3 uh, that 7 by 8 is what i have and similarly, using the, uh, the rule that we applied here for sin x, if I find sin y, 
so that will come out to be root 15 by 8. So now I have sin x cos x, I have sin y and cos y. So how can I find the length AC? So now if I use okay, uh, in triangle AOC, if I say that cos of x plus y is equal to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. Now cos of x plus y is the entire angle. I can use the cosine rule here again and I'll get 6 square plus 6 square minus ac square upon 2 times of 6 into 6. And from the previous slide, I know the values of cos x cos y sin x sin y. So that gives me 17 by 18 into 7 by 8 minus root 35 by 18 minus root 15 by 8. So upon simplification, what I get is basically I will get 2 times of AC square is equal to 25 plus root 35 into root 15. So that gives me AC square as 25 upon root 35 into root 15 upon 2. Uh, I can multiply the numerator and denominator by 2 and why do I do this? Because this will give me 50 plus 2 times of root 35 into root 15 upon 4. If you observe your numerator, this value is nothing but as root 35 plus root 15 the whole square. And I have AC square here, so AC will be nothing but as root 35 plus root 15 upon 2, that's the answer. So, I mean, if someone ends up solving this question in exam by this approach, you will definitely spend 4-5 or five minutes and not sure whether you will get the right answer or not. So the best way to solve such particular question is to eliminate the option and get it. So, now I have one replica question for you. Solve this question and answer the correct option in the comment section. We will revert back to you within 24 hours.